Welcome back to DXB Today, where on today's show, it's all about finding your tribe and making new friends. And as we welcome our next guest, this person has really taken to the world of tech to try and help us create connections. Please join me in welcoming the founder of Belong. This is Michael Askew. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me here. So I've seen your app ads. But can you tell us a little bit about what it is? Yeah, sure. So um, Belong was formed in 2020 as a really efficient way to meet like-minded people. Was that coincidence it was 2020? Uh, No. It was part of it. (laughs) Yeah, so it was formed to connect like-minded people in the cities that we live in. Uh, We found that there's a real pain point for people to move to new cities, find their tribe and belong. Uh, And that's where we come in. I know that last time you were here, you spoke about having the app in New York, and I think a lot has happened since you were here. So can you please tell us more about that? Yeah, sure. So we launched initially here in Dubai. Um, We sort of got to what we call product market fit. So like users are giving us a big thumbs up that is solving a big problem. And we could monetize that problem and build a community with them where people are happy to pay so we can grow the business. Then we went into San Francisco. Then we went into New York and those communities are really blossoming there. So like the people adopting to it well, connecting, making friendships and having a great time. And that's what we built for. I love oh, that. Michael, I love that you guys are branching out. But one thing I love about your app is how many different activities you do together. So take us through some of the things that people can meet up and do together. Because I saw, no, you tell me. Yeah, sure. So <laughs> when, you, when you come into Belong, there's 15 dedicated groups from fitness, sports, knowledge, wellness, lifestyle. And we cover all like the top tier categories. Then underneath them, you've got sub communities. So in fitness, you can go into weights, cardio, hiking, and all these sort of things. So there's a pocket for everyone. And the way that we've structured the app is it's super easy for people to come in and get connected. And I think that's where we solve that problem where other brands are sort of making it a bit more complex. Michael, one of the things that I've enjoyed most about building a community with my friends, your friends, is some of the success stories that come out of it. What are some of the success stories that you've enjoyed hearing the most about in Belong? Yeah, I mean, I think I'll take the trophy for that. I got, I got married through Belong. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So although it's not a dating site, magical things can happen when you connect like-minded people, right? So I got married. There's been several other marriages now in Belong. I like that. Um, we've actually saved lives in Belong through combating loneliness and bringing people out of depression episodes. So there's been a whole host of fantastic things happening across the city in Dubai and in the US. That's an amazing thing to say that you were a part of. But So to take it to the other side, how do you make sure that people don't use Belong for nefarious reasons? Uh, we have the moderation tools built in. So um, we've built in various different like logical tools to go into sort of make sure the community stays pure. You can't swear, you can't abuse. It's a real positive space that we've built. So I have one more question. When you look at things like Apple Vision Pro and the additional ways of connecting now virtually, what kind of relationship do you think that the virtual and digital world will have with in-person relationship building and friendship building in the future? Yeah, I think those tools are designed for a specific sort of persona and our sort of demographic that we go to is whether you're new to a city or you've been here for a long time, we just want you to quickly go online and meet up in real life. Our end goal is not to keep you there sat scrolling like a lot of these other brands do. We're all about in-life real experiences. You click a button, you get food. You click a button, you get a taxi. With Belong, you click a button, you get friends. I like that. Raj, (laughs) how do you feel about it? I think it's incredible because already in our community, the way we've built it is through online ticketing. Through yours, you've got an incredible app, which I've seen. And I think I'm just naturally very curious as to what the future relationship with technology will be. I very much agree with Michael that our goal has also been as soon as possible to get people off the phone and into a physical uh, environment because that's where really a lot of the magic and chemistry yeah. happens. So any advice guys from both of you, just quickly, advice to people moving out to Dubai, not feeling like, I don't know, they haven't really found their crew yet, wanting the brand child to try something new. Give, go for it. Belong app. Give Belong a go. <laughs> I, I mean, I can, I can sit here and I can guarantee that you will find friends. You like, you will find community. You can get and give support and it's free. So where there's no high demand, you can come to a new city or go to a different city and find real connections. That's really cool. Thank you so much for being here, Michael. But of course, Raj, what what would you say your advice is? So for me, my time in the UAE has been one of my greatest experiences ever. I spent time in New York in the 90s. I saw that boom. I spent time in London when that was booming. And I've never seen anything as incredible 
a place as the UAE to build something. So my advice is when you come to the UAE, there was a wrong perspective that many people brought here about coming here and taking from the place because there's so many opportunities here. I think the number one thing you should do to build a community and find your tribe is to make something for Dubai and the other cities within the UAE. Because if you make something for the UAE, it tends to reward you in an extremely incredible way. I love that you're all about the car mirage. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Great having you here thank with you us. Very of course, much. I'm sure we'll have you back with us again thank soon. You. Now, on to today's spotlight. It is about a creative marketing agency blending captivating storytelling with integrated solutions for the perfect brand story. Elevating your digital brand, this is Anamika Dixit from the Brand Tribe. Hi, this is Anamika Dixit, founder and chief storyteller of the Brand Tribe. We are a creative marketing agency which tells the stories of the brands digitally. We craft their brand story and elevate their digital presence. Well, in our experience, we realized that there are lots of people and companies who are starting with amazing products and services, but they don't know how to market themselves and they don't know how to reach out to the millions of the people who could be their potential target audience. They don't have the budget to hire multiple agencies or to reach out to big companies. And that's where the Brand Tribe was created, to create an ecosystem which supports startups, which supports women entrepreneurs to have a voice in the market and to reach out to the millions of people out there. Challenges for our new business are many, especially post-COVID. The challenges of hiring the right kind of talent which matches your work ethics, budget constraints, work-life balance, demanding timelines, and the ever-evolving technological advancements. So in our industry, all of these plays a very important role. I want to see Brand Tribe across multiple countries but with the same standard of work and the same work ethics of supporting the community. So why have an attraction and an ecosystem that just attracts business owners and startups? Having a very, very strong expat community, it has a culture of collaboration and support system, which I feel lacking in many other countries. So here as a startup, if you are ready to work and network, you will feel, uh, find your like-minded people and a culture that will support you. Thank you very much, Anna Mika, but there's a lot more DXB todaying to do, but what is coming up on the show? We meet the team behind the Dubai Drama Group right here in the studio. And tonight we're bringing you a performance that I think is just so original and you're not gonna wanna miss this. So don't you go anywhere, stay with us.